Hey, this is Garrett with Rackspace Social Media, and I just saw a question come in about how to actually create Instagram ads. And I was able to do this um, this weekend for my personal business, and so I, I figured I can give you a couple of lessons learned that I found um, on a quick walkthrough. So the, the first thing that's important is that currently there are only three different ad objectives that are supported um, by Instagram ads. And they are clicks to the website, mobile app installs, and video views. So there are no website conversion campaigns that are actually associated, um, but clicks to the website are gonna be about as um, close to that as you can find. So in order to create them, you have to actually use the Power Editor. And in order to use the Power Editor, you have to be logged in um, to Facebook on Chrome. Okay, so here I am on the Power Editor. And you basically are gonna create um, a campaign just like you would for any sort of Facebook ad. So I created this one here, SA Flavor Store Instagram. And if you look at it, um, you're gonna see that I. it's really important to make sure it has one of those three objectives. I use the clicks to website, all right? Um, we're then gonna go into that. And then I have kind of my ad set name. I used Instagram. Um, and if you come off to the side, um, you're going to see clicks to website, you can put your daily budget, your schedule, um, your audience. This is all very similar, again, to Facebook. Um, and then placement, this is where it's going to be important to show your ads on Instagram. So um, if you want it to be Instagram only, go ahead and uncheck all these top four and then just go ahead and check the Instagram. Okay, um, you, you, again, you, you go ahead and put in all those same bits and pieces of information for your campaign as you would with the Facebook ad. Okay. So then you click into your ad set, and now you're gonna create your ad, all right? So I created one for a shirt that I was selling called Lamano. Um, so if I go ahead and click um, the edit button over here, we can see what it looks like inside. Um, so you're gonna connect your Facebook page. It's also really important to connect your Instagram account. And so there'll be a button here that you can go ahead and authenticate into your Instagram account. Um, you're gonna create an ad. Um, and you know, definitely gonna want one of those tracking code links. Um, you can put the text here. The hashtags actually are um, um, hyperlinked, um, and same with the at mentions, so that's kinda cool. Um, you can do an image or a video, and then you can come here and Right here, we'll have something that says upload image um, and then crop image. And then off to the side, I'll give you a little preview. Um, one thing, even though I use a lot of text here, it, it doesn't go off the screen. It, it looks sharp on it. Um, so um, you'll upload your image and you can set your call to action of shop now and then you should be good to go. Um, now, one thing that I found um, to be helpful that you might you might want to check out is you want it to look and feel like Instagram. So that means you're probably going to want it to have a particular filter, um, like an Instagram filter. And uh, you know, you, you're, in order to do that, that means that you need to have posted this picture through Instagram so that it can go through that sort of filter process. So what I would do is either through your personal account or you know maybe you're reusing a photo that was posted through um, your business account. Um, you're just going to go um, to that Instagram page. Um, you're going to open up the picture here, and then you'll notice there's no like right-click download picture. They're a little sneaky. They made it a little bit tricky in order to get that picture. So once you're on this page here with the big picture in the comments, um, right-click view. Um, oops, I clicked the wrong one. Sorry. Right-click view page source, and you're going to go to the page source. Do a Command F or a Control F for find, and type in JPG, and your first JPG. Um, um, URL is actually going to be your image. So if you copy that, you can then paste it here. Now you can see the image and you can just do a right click, save image as, and you're gonna be able to save that image as um, a file name to your desktop that you can then come in and upload um, to, the, to the Power Editor ad. So that way your photo will actually have the look and feel of an Instagram filter as well. At any rate, I hope this, that this helps. I know that Instagram is becoming an extremely popular option for different social media marketers to use. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.